Hello and welcome back to the Demis Helen channel. We're going to be looking at Anna 2 today and we're going to make a pluck slash trans lead. Let's get straight into building this preset. All right, so we've got a blank template here and this is the context for the track here. So let's just loop this section to make sure everything is good. There we are, we have context for the track. So let's load Anna 2 into the middle of the screen here so you can see clearly. And it's already going through an audio bus, so you'll hear that there's a little bit of delay and reverb already on that, but that's fine. It's still coming through quite raw. A bit of processing going here on the right hand side. So we've got Pro Q3 just doing a bit of a low cut, and we've got another Pro Q3 doing a bit of a low cut, and that is really just because we had compression in between. But I've turned that off for now, so it looks a bit unnecessary. And then obviously we have LFO tool working there. So for now, we'll turn that off as well. So I'm going to start using the saw wave and I'm going to set up a second oscillator here and choose, I'm going to choose MS square, I like the sound of this one. And we need to just go back in and just add one voice for now. So what I'm going to do here is just separate using the phase, just make sure that they're not clashing. And then I'm going to increase the voices, uh, probably three and four or four and three, depending on how this sounds. And then we'll focus on the filters, the envelope for the filters and the amp envelope, obviously. And then we'll put a plethora of effects on and just see how it fits in with the track as we're doing it. Okay, so we've got the basic setup there. You can see I've just put the Corgi filter on there and just adjusted the cutoffs and then used the envelope and then shaped the envelope there. So all sounding pretty good at the moment. Let's have a listen to that with our track. All right, sounding good. We just need to edit the level of these. So I'm gonna bring the level up of the saw, but I'm going to bring that up not as high. So we have a little bit more of the saw coming through, less of the square. And obviously this is then going to go through a plethora of effects that we're going to choose. And I tend to choose the convolution reverb options, which tend to lower the volume a lot. So just boosting that pre that coming later on. So I'm just going to drop the octaves of this so I don't have to drop the MIDI. So I want to do a little bit of shaping in terms of using the sampler and using a little bit of noise. And I do like the sound of Saw Fizzle 2. So let's see how this fits on there. Otherwise we'll use some generic noise. adds a decent amount of texture on the top sort of nicely balanced with the filter open so I can close that filter again and just to quickly show you in the mod matrix if we just choose mod wheel and then the source is going to be our filter so we can go to filter one frequency 
And then we can adjust this by opening the mod wheel first and then bringing up the level to the level that we want that mod wheel to open the filter. You can see it starts closing down around that 46 mark so 48 to 50 is going to be safe enough for a nice moving fluid mod wheel so with anna the effects are pretty nice inside of this i do enjoy using them we're going to use a combination of chorus delay we'll put some reverb on there and we'll experiment with a couple of others as well so let's start with chorus So really I'm just trying to add a little bit of extra texture there without going crazy on the voices, keep it a little bit more natural as well. And then effects two, let's just have, should we go for a ping pong or a duel? We'll go for a ping pong delay on this one. That would help turning that on. I was trying to work out why that wasn't working then. And then we can turn on an insert number three and I'm gonna throw on the convolution here. I'm gonna choose the virus test two. So you can hear that's reducing the volume of that and that is why I boosted the volumes earlier on in the tutorial just to make sure everything's nicely balanced. We can go into the oscillator mixer and boost these up a little bit more if we need to but for now I'm happy with the level. We can boost this obviously in the third party processing as well. So for the final two inserts we're going to have a dynamic processor and we're going to have that in the form of a multi-compressor so something like OTT and then finally we're going to have the, I think it is in other Samo flange and this this just sounds great on sounds as well so for now I'm just going to turn then make sure they're turned off they are off and turn on multi compressor So you can hear with that I'm just boosting up the highs a little bit, making it a little bit more plucky and giving it a lot more attack on the front end of the sound. Uh, even with the filter closed that sounds really nice and you can see I was just trying to mess around with the threshold to see if that was going to add any sort of extra detail to the sound. The high is not too much, there's not too much present there with that closed but as it starts to open it will. So I'm going to leave it there, it's not too concerning with that. And then finally, let's take a listen to this in context. So 
So it's definitely adding some context in there. However, it just needs to be boosted a little bit. So let's go into the mixer and just try and build this up a little bit. Okay, so with, that's as high as I'm willing to go in the actual synth itself. Let's jump into here. I'm just going to temporarily put a kilohertz gain on here and bring this up as it's playing. So that is working really well. You can hear as we bring the elevation up, we're actually creating a nice lower end to the plucks. The plucks are quite sharp and high, whereas this has got a lot more lower body, but still has that sharp transient on the front. So it's contributing to the lower mids more than the upper mids. And you can see how quickly we can do that in Anna. It just has a nice starting point for sound design. And these are the things that you need to think about when you're purchasing a synth, especially when it's coming up to Black Friday and they're throwing advert after advert in your face. You need to test the demos. Don't just rely on what they tell you because they're marketing it to you and they're telling you you need it. Whereas if you use the demo and use it and if it gels well and you understand how the flow works, a lot easier than say Serum, for example, then you're going to buy this one over that one. So finally, let's put Samaflange on this and I'll let you listen to the effects. So what Summer Flange is doing is sort of a flange still, but we're getting it really fast and it helps shape it tonally. So it gives it a different tonal quality and you can get some of those classic trans sounds just by putting this on and just moving the tone and depth around. And you can see then I've just balanced it out with the dry wet to make it sort of acceptable into the mix of sound, but always put it up to full if you need to, so you can hear exactly what it's doing to your sound and then dial it back and mix it in to taste. And it just gives it more character. It just sounds a lot better with stuff like that where you can just really micro shift things around and make it sound nicer. So in the EQ, we can just roll off the lows as well. So I'm just gonna bring that down. Uh, I think this is set at, so it's at 50. So let's just bring it up a little bit. Just to clean the sound up before it goes out into third party chain. And as you know, I've already got two Pro Q3s on there doing the roll offs and obviously with that compression that's gonna go on after. The sort of sound design that I do, I tend to do it in the box if I need to. So if this sound is geared towards sounding like that, I'm going to roll the lows out to obviously make it sound like that and put it in that ballpark. But with that done, I think I'm happy with the sound design. I don't think it actually needs anything else. So let's have a listen to it in context. And we'll put, in fact, we'll listen to a bit of build as well in there. Let's have a listen to that section.
there we are. That does sound pretty good. I thought I'd just record the process of making a pluck for this demo pack. And you can see I've gone through a few alterations there. We had a pluck here. We did have a fourth pluck as well, which was layered in. I think that's even higher. Yeah, it's up here for some reason between the pad. So I did have four plucks all going at once and the layer sounded good but it was just missing that vibe and character and clarity at the same time so kept two of them and then just made that one in Anna to just bring out the low end and sit with the bass better as well because obviously it's sort of side trance influenced and that brings us to the end of the video so if you did enjoy it please consider subscribing so you get to see more videos like this and if you have any questions about what you've seen in today's video please let me know down in the comments and with that said thank you very much for watching I'll see you all in the next video